basically you know uh, intel app up is a mechanism to get uh, focused applications on the pc style environment as a start okay. right when i say pc style environment it could include you know uh, netbooks notebooks uh, regular pcs the all in one touch pcs these days right because you know mobile developers and mobile users have a mechanism to get their apps you know from a store uh, this is for the pc environment as a start okay. right as we get more and more tablets you know from the intel stable uh, this gets extended into the tablet environment also okay. uh, pretty easily the value prop very clearly here for consumers is that you know it's family friendly right kids safe uh, very clear categorizations are there uh and also what you have is in a unique thing which is called try and buy okay. right uh, i mean many times we go to the store we don't know we're not sure we see some reviews like this three reviews you're wondering you know should i should i not if it's free it's usually okay you can download it and then remove it but if it's a paid application uh, you know unless you're completely convinced you're not sure here we offer an opportunity as a try and buy you buy it and uh, you don't like it within 24 hours you return it no questions asked the money is given back to you all right right so two things happen one is from a consumer perspective they know exactly what they're getting into from a developer perspective right because otherwise uh, the developers are always worried should i make my app free or should i charge it right. now they can actually go ahead and take the courage and charge it because the consumers if they really are committed and like it they will buy it right so that's what we've done as something unique for the pc environment so this is on the consumer side on the developer side you know we have a very elaborate developer program for developers in india uh, we've had actually tremendous success from developers from india submitting apps to the store um, you know we're in early stages of marketing this right i mean this is less than a year old in terms of even the developer program uh, we haven't spent too much time in telling the world the that such an app store exists which is why you won't hear too much about it slowly we are creating a simple viral effect you know we'd rather have consumers tell other consumers and potentially hear from experts that hey this is a place uh, you know not very hype but you can go get some you know uh, friendly apps you can get some safe apps uh, kids learning apps you know educational apps games all those things so our focus is you know there's about a billion odd pcs deployed on the globe our focus is for the pc developers and even for mobile developers try and use this as an opportunity to reach so two things more happen right one is we want to make sure that the apps which were available for a phone or for a pc see today let's say you have an address book right uh, you obviously have your address book on your phone the contacts phone numbers you want to make sure that is synchronized with your pc right let's say you have some music you want to make sure it's synchronized with your pc or photos or videos or you know whatever else right so we think that you know even apps right i mean you know whether you want to book movie tickets or play a chess game or play angry birds or any of these things right people obviously want to do it on their mobile device and maybe continue that on a larger screen device so we are encouraging developers think of what we call the compute continuum which is a users will carry their experience from mobile to you know large screen devices like pcs netbooks etc maybe even to smart televisions right so some of these things might extend into televisions also so we are putting the infrastructure in place so that this app store mechanism and this developer program can extend start from pcs netbooks notebooks uh you know go into tablets you know over the next couple of months and over time even go into you know televisions and phones so as as i understand it's uh, going to become almost a year when the intel app up has been launched yeah i mean we did a soft launch almost exactly last diwali if i remember correctly right and you know we more promoted it to developers than to consumers we focused on developers because we wanted to get locally relevant applications how about the competition because as per the independent research what we have done couple of days back i found that most of the developers are going away from the traditional app stores like you know uh, android app market and all because they are feeling it that they are getting loose in the crowd so how you are going to handle that problem yeah. so here again right um if you see we don't have hundreds of thousands of applications i believe there are more than 4 lakh application already available on intel app up it's less than it's like less than 5000 less than 5000 on the store right on the store in in the store i mean in some ways we want to make sure that there is a slow progression 
because consumers are able to find the applications, you know, use it. And then developers obviously have to get monetized, right? Whether it's through ads or it's through, you know, uh, paid apps or even their brand value. So it's a slow progression, it's slowly coming up. And our store is not yet that large. Right, I mean, it's slowly, you know, sort of building up. What is the strategy? Because I understand, being as a brand value of Intel, it will see the surge in the coming time. Yeah. So, how are you going to handle that same situation? What already facing the? Yeah. So one one approach we've taken is go very heavy into categorization. Right. In fact, one approach we've tested over the last couple of months is what we call curation. Right. Um, independent. For example, if you have, if you're a photography expert, right, you can work with Intel and figure out you can create a photography specific you know, store, but still use all the infrastructure of the back-end app store, right? Because then people who are interested in the photography will come with you, they'll meet people who are, you know, and saying, oh yeah, this app has this optical problem, or this app is really cool, it does this, is this. I mean, even today, most of the app stores have categories, right? Uh, but categories help you sort out. But if, it, if that categorization is done by an expert, right, and the curation is done by an expert in that area, you will tend to respect it more and trust it more, right? So it's an approach we're trying. And we'll constantly keep trying approaches where the consumers have confidence that what I'm downloading is really useful and what I'm seeing is what, what, I'm seeing is what I will get. That's another going to be an approach. Uh, my another question is, key, I understand that Intel is also working on the Migo platform. So how the Migo is going to get benefited out of this compared to the other platforms? Sure. So, you know, Migo started as a partnership with Nokia, you know, a while ago. Uh, you may have noticed just over the last few days, we've announced that, you know, we've, we've transitioned or moved from, you know, the Migo, uh, you know, development effort into something we call Tizen, right? It's, a, it's an open source foundation effort, right? A Linux foundation effort. It's a completely open source effort. Uh, we're encouraging the developers of Migo to you know participate in the Tizen environment, right? Again, open source projects will continue, right? They have their own life. It's all governed by the open source principles. So we focus. We tell developers, you want to build on you know Windows, we'll have the developer program for Windows. Uh, you want to work with Android, we want to make sure Android runs best on Intel architecture. You know, on let's say on tablets as a start. You want to work on open source environments like you know uh, Tizen and in the past Migo will make sure all the tools are available for you, right? So our effort is not to, you know, uh, say don't work on this. As long as that operating environment runs on Intel hardware, we'll support the developers. Okay, a couple of days before, uh, as per the speculation in the market, we heard that after the Nokia got tied up with Windows, with Microsoft, mm -hmm. that Nokia is no more part of Migo. Oh, this was announced publicly last year. Yeah. So this is not new news. This is almost a year old news, right? How, how does Intel is taking it further? Yeah, that's the that's what I uh, uh, described to you. Tizen is the new effort, right? Uh, it's you know T-I-Z-E-N dot org. You can go there. You know the whole new kit is available. Uh, in the main main key points in the Tizen effort is that we have embraced HTML5 in a very big way, right? Because HTML5 is going to be you know, very popular in the future from a developer's perspective. So HTML5 has been embraced in a pretty significant way. And there are certain, certain other open source related efforts which are brought in. And you know, more importantly, keeping in mind the app movement across various devices. Right? You'll see more and more of that effort. So can, can I understand that uh, Intel is going on the similar path where the Google has been adopted? Like after some time, anyway, the hardwares are available from Intel, the laptops are available from Intel, and there will be OS available from the Intel, as well as the apps will be available from Intel. OS is not from Intel. OS is open source. The Amigo is open source. Amigo and now Tizen, Tizen is completely open source, okay. right? We don't ship that OS. Okay. The OS distribution companies may choose to ship it. Our effort is make sure there's always an open source choice available. A completely open source choice available. That's our effort. At the same time, we have an incredible amount of resources on Windows. We're making sure, you know, uh, we, you know, uh, Andy Rubin was on stage with, you know, Paul Ortolini a few weeks ago in IDF, Intel Developer Forum. You know, we have a lot of engineering effort going on with Google to make sure that Android takes the best advantage of Intel hardware. All right. So basically, you are also at the same time giving the advantages to all the Android platforms. Absolutely. See, our, our, our goal is very simple. If the environment or if the OS or if the store runs on my hardware, I'll make sure I'll help the developers. Right? Whether it's Windows or Android or you know Tizen in the future, we'll help them. 
All right, fine, fine. All right, thanks a lot, sir. No problem.